Finally, let's cover briefly the GraphX Spark module for Graph Analytics, which has so far received the least attention from the Spark community. To give you an example of what Graph Analytics can achieve, let's go over a popular high-level example of transforming a raw Wikipedia text by applying several Graph Analytics methods to get new and valuable insights. We can take the raw Wikipedia text in an XML format and create a text table with both a title and a body. Now once we have this, we can create a hyperlinks graph to which we can apply a page rank algorithm to find the top 20 pages with a title and a page rank. We can also take our text table and create a term document graph to which we can apply an LDA topic modeling to find a word topics table with a word and a corresponding topic. We can also take the raw Wikipedia text and create a discussion table with a user and a corresponding discussion. From there, it's easy to create an enter graph and apply the community detection algorithm. This gives us a user community table with a user and a corresponding community. Now for the most interesting part, we can take the results of our topic modeling and combine it with the user community table to create a community topic table with a topic and the corresponding community. To help you better understand graph terminology, let's look over a simple property graph example. We have two tables, a vertex table containing vertices and an edge table containing edges. Vertices contain information while edges describe the relationship between those vertices. Let's look at two vertices specifically, two and five. If we look them up in a table, two corresponds to Ian Stoika and he's a professor and five corresponds to Franklin who is also a professor. In the edge table, this information will be looked up by going from source to destination, or 2 to 5, and the relationship or the property between them is of type colleague. Visually, it's this arrow over here. If you look at other relationships, you'll find that they're natural and self-explanatory. We've briefly touched on some of the powerful graphics algorithms, such as page rank and connecting components. However, the details and their usage are beyond this crash course. Finally, let's go over a sample graphics code. Say you've wanted to create a graph with vertices and edges, and then you've written messages from some text file on HDFS. Then you wanted to create another graph, graph2, by joining the message vertices on the original graph to do some mapping of ID, vertex, and message. Now this example is quite simple, but it gets rather involved very quickly. So I've decided to skip it in this crash course and encourage you to check out the Spark documentation for more details. Whoa!